Uh, back, I'm going to do, I have two little male things left uh, to do, um, but first I'm going to go through three of my favorite Randall Cunningham autographs. Um, this is a Sports Impressions Porcelain uh, Randall Cunningham autograph, in person obviously. Randall Cunningham, 12. You'll see that all of his autos are very similar. This is one of the oddballer things I, I feel like I've ever bought. Only 2,500 of just the plates exist. As far as I know, this is the only autographed one, um, which is really cool. I don't know what I, I display it. Um, it's awesome. Uh, it's just such a great card. Um, I mean, I'm looking at it, not letting you look at it. The back has great detail. I I suggest you Google this or eBay the sports impression stuff because they're really cool. I mean, it's just it's very thick. It's solid. Um, I'm very scared of breaking it. It has its very nice case for travel. Then this is a 1987, it's going to be hard to show it, Police, um, Randall Cunningham Authentic Autograph. Um, the 87 obviously is his quote rookie year. Um, so this is his first police card. Um, I have a few others I think I've shown off. Um, there you go. Um, this is from Jersey, so that's kind of funny. Um, if you see there, New Jersey, say no to drugs, kids, um, except for the legal ones and the ones that make you feel better, um, that don't make you addicted and make you feel worse down the line. Um, when teams players shouldn't don't give in to peer pressure unless they're peer pressuring you to not do drugs, right? That's a cool one. And then this uh, that I just got um, might be my favorite. It's hard to pick between these three. Um, it's just great. Um, I just don't know which is the best, and uh, it's a struggle. The struggle is real. Um, got a number of printing plates, autos of his, which are great, um, but now I have a lot. What I really want is to find one of those 24 karat gold auction action packed that they, they did a few years ago, 20 years ago. That autograph. That's that's kind of I think the last piece of the puzzle for what I need. And maybe go after some of the Letterman, the 2014 tops, um, uh, 2014 not tops, 2014 upper deck where they spelled out people's um, names and whatnot in letters and things. So we got four of these. I got a good deal on these. Um, pretty cheap. I think I got them down to like twelve dollars a cello. Um, you can find them relatively affordably now. Uh, the buzz is gone, which is great because I like them. I like opening them. I've tried to resell them easily. Haphazard hasn't worked fantastically, but hasn't been terrible either. That's probably coming to you a future video near you. Um, so I am popping this open. Um, and this is going to be a really fun uh, open. Uh, it's a bunch of cars from a really nice eBay seller. Um, I forget his name, but it's MRK something. If you come across him, throws in a lot of freebies. Um, there's just stacks on stacks. On stacks. Packaged well. Um, let's save these. So here we go. In top loaders with team bags. Not bad. They are in there. So we got a Luis Robert. Uh, I guess technically a prospect card on Bowman Chrome. We've got a, what I find to be an awesome card, a Cedric Mullins, Leather and Lumber. Bam. Ceddy. Love Cedric Mullins. Then we got a pretty awesome player, Michael A. Taylor. I believe this is Inception, right? Yep, an Inception autograph. I love Michael A. Rookie card. I'm going to actually display that guy. Uh, we got a fun... Anthony Santander, Diamond Kings, dual, um, clothy, clothy. Name a, name a color better than the, the Orioles orange. Get out of here. Your colors are terrible. Can't get this one out as easily. I feel like I'm cutting my fingers up pretty badly. Um, we got a John Gray Diamond Collection. A little patchy patchy. I'm a big John Gay, Gray fan. I think at some point he's going to have one of those years that's just really good. Like, in a, like what Abaldo had a few years ago. Um... Can't get this guy open either. It is another leather and lumber. Is Framber Valdez? Pretty nice um, rookie card. I think to 149. It's a good card. Um, what do we got? What's easy? What's what's easy and what's next? Um, ooh, what you got? What we got? Oh, we got some fun players in this pack. We got an Aaron Judge, future stud. 
future stud. He is a stud. He is a future star. He is a star. Um, you know, Gold Cup. I like the future stars. Uh, these are fun. It's Johnny Bench. I believe Drake's. Drake's Big Hitters. Their second annual collection. It's funny because it's got like the normal tops back on it. I love, for whatever reason, I love these kinds of confectionery ones. Then we've got a Topps National Baseball Card Day. Ken Griffey Jr. Museum Collection, I believe. Topps Gallery. Can you keep them straight? I can't keep them straight. Um, got a fun little packy baggy here. Um, anytime you can land a Griffey Jr. card, I think, you, you go ahead and do that. You add that to your collection. Uh, the kid was great. Loved him. We got a Chrome Carlos Correa. Nice. Just a nice little chrome, Carlos Correa. I think he's going to have a nice bounce back here. What do we got here? Oh, this is sweet. Brian Zimmerman got a patch. It's pretty old, I think. Upper deck, 2007. Old man. He's been around forever, huh? I guess he's not around this year, um, if they have a year. Probably won't have a year. Um, we got a sweet Jordan Alvarez rookie card, retro. I call everything retro. Uh, 1984 throwback, 85, 85, I think, 84. Some The math would line up for 85. Um, so there you go. Nice backy backy. Sweet. Hey, you've seen one of these, haven't you? Adley Rushman, Bowman Chrome. That goes right into the personal collection. Oh, speaking of more personal collecting items, we've got a select. I've not opened any of these. Is anyone else? I like I like the look of them. I feel like I need someone to buy some for me so I can break them. That is a Juan Soto base select. I believe this is a crazy um, prism refractor Lucas Giolito. I'm sure the Nats are glad they made that trade because who knows what happens if they didn't, right? Maybe they don't win the World Series. Maybe they make a different trade that causes adverse effects and they don't. Um, so I don't think you can look back on that as a bad trade, but Adam Eaton kind of is annoying. So what can you do? We've got another Framber. Framber Valdez, rookie card, auto, chrome. That's pretty sweet. I'm, as you can see, I like him. I like Jose Aquiti. I, I love all the swingmen on the on the Astros. I was a big Joe Musgrove fan. Um, we got a Topps Gallery National Baseball Card Day. Ronald Acuna Jr. What do you know? I'm going to pause it. Forgot where I was. A little bit of pause um, for dramatic effect, but not really. Um, it's the Gallery National Baseball Card Day, Ronald Acuna Jr. I kind of get any anytime I get my hands on Ronald Acuna cards, I do and I keep them. And I'm going to look back in 20 years and be happy I have them, regardless of what they're worth. I don't really care. I mean, I like having these little ones that are, you know, unique um, in their own right. Probably, I mean, unless he's, you know, the second coming of, you know, Willie Mays, they're probably not going to be worth more than a couple dollars. Um, but that's fine. I'll have them to look at. Uh, we got a Black Border, Alex Bregman, um, retro, throwback, whatever, $2.99. $2.99, number two, $2.99. Nine er Oh, this is a fun card. I forgot about this. We have a super old Topps Finest Levon Hernandez. That is uh, numbered to 299. Numbered to 299. I did not do that on purpose. Um, Manny Machado foil. Um, just nice 2020 um, Topps, you know, Series 1. Series 1, yep. Foil. He's going to be in the Hall of Fame. I'm willing to bet, unless there's some sort of weird shenanigans or becomes a pariah. Um, I think he is, there's no doubt. Well, no doubt it's not the right. I would bet money that he will be a Hall of Famer. We've got a nice Yusai Kikuchi um, Platinum rookie card. Um, not sure which one that is. But I don't think I talk about this guy as much as I should. Um, I am a huge Nelson Cruz fan. Um, just love the way he thumps the ball. I feel bad that he had to be playing the outfield on those unfortunate moments for the Texas Rangers when they could have won a World Series but didn't. But this is red. I think that means it's something. Um, I don't know. Anyway, it's going to go into a box, and that box is going to include a lot of his cards. And I'm going to be happy one day when I pull them out and think about him and his career because he got a late start. Um, but, man, has he just consistently thumped the ball, and that makes me happy. Screw the Derek Jeter. But I bought a Derek Jeter card. It was a dollar. I don't know what I'll do with it. Oh, I bought two Derek Jeter cards. Why not buy Derek Jeter cards? Sometimes you just, like, you see things and you're like, oh, I should buy it. Um, I think this is an SP, maybe. Derek Jeter. Um, it is 2001? Update? No, 2017 
I don't know. Someone else figure this out. Derek Jeter, whatever. The captain. Hey! On to a better and more enjoyable player. Who's never played for them. Nelson Cruz! Walmart exclusive mega box. I'm sure whoever pulled this out of that box was pretty annoyed because that's not what you want to spend a lot of your money on. But I like to spend a little bit of money on it. It just made me happy. Well, this purchase was worth it just for the um, top loaders alone. Not sure. The another Soto Select, 25 man. Um, I gotta look into those selects. Are they are they worth purchase? Are they capable of being purchased for a short amount of small amount of money? Bryce Harper, 349. He's another guy. Pretty sure he's going to be in the Hall of Fame. He's got such an early start. Um, we've got a Robert Poisson, Camo. Poisson, Camo. Um, that guy's crazy. He's like 16, 17. He made the 60-man roster or whatever for the for the A's. That's absurd. I mean, I'm sure they just want him to get some work, but we got a DJ Stewart, Topps Gallery Auto. I like Topps Gallery. I think they're fun. I like Museum Collection. Uh, Topps Gallery, I think, is better. Um... The resale is terrible, and they're not that super cheap. So, like, is it even worth it? I don't know. But then the last card is a Topps Chrome Jason Hayward rookie card. Flash forward, flash back. Ten years ago when I would have pulled his cards after a few of his downturns, and I was like, he's a surefire Hall of Famer, so don't listen to me. Let me buy all the Bryce Harpers and the Manny Machado. I think, I think at least one of them is clearly going to be a Hall of Famer, I think. Now I'm beginning to doubt myself after seeing that. I don't know. What do you say? Yeah? Nay? You're going to vote yay on Harper, nay on Machado is my guess? All right. Peace out, y'all.